Okay, guys, I'm here today, Flavio Canto, huge honor for me. Guys, former Olympic medalist in judo, and he was also the number one judo athlete for like one or two years when he was competing. And he's also a jiu-jitsu black belt, and he's very well known for his submissions. So today he's gonna show us here one of his favorite back attacks, which we are calling here the Canto Necktie. Thanks because for the marketing. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's a different format of the necktie that you guys uh, probably have seen. And this way that Flavio does, I've never seen before. So let's do it, Flavio. All right. Honor. The idea, Bernardo, is to... And this one, you were rem rem reminded that you can use judo, jiu-jitsu, and submission as well, right? Yeah. So what we, what we thought in this instructional, some of the ideas, which maybe one of the most important, is to get the faster the better underneath your armpit if you if i have control of your armpit i have all the positions from here in this case i'm gonna bring my right my right hand underneath your armpit i'm gonna hold it my other hand with it i like to use four fingers to four fingers some people prefer like this or like this in this situation I prefer using four fingers to four fingers okay and i'm loose I, i'm not putting a lot of strength over here and as soon as I, I put both uh, bottom of my feet on the, I put the bottom of my feet on the ground, I'm gonna kind of like hook, do a hook over here with my, this hand underneath. I want my hand to be underneath your ear over here because this is where the strangle is. And once I do this, now I hold you tight. I fall backwards, opening up my leg. One of my leg goes above your head. And the other one, the normal one, people do it over here, I prefer doing over here and now I roll sideways so that you roll with me and I cross my feet my feet and I have over here the, the, ah. the position yeah so Flavio uh, as you mentioned most of the people they do putting the leg over the back uh -huh, uh -huh. and you don't do that you just put a hook and your goal is to because kind of force it, it, that you, you're gonna move it's, it's natural for you once I come over here you're ready Right, it's really, really tight, and I can't. I, I'm completely stuck yeah. over here, right? And over here, I, I use my hand to pull you, and I use my my leg to push you. Yeah, See? I got it. Oh, Flavio, one thing I'm noticing from you is that most of the submissions you use looks. Like there's something stuck here. On your, oh, thank you. Yeah, most of the submissions you use, it looks like you always find a way to stuck the opponent with your legs as well. Because right? you just showed an arm bar not, the, not so long ago that you did from the... Yeah. So sort of a platter that you use the arm to hook up my leg. So you're always using your legs to keep them stuck as well. Interesting. Just, I never thought about it, but I think so. I think uh, when we're talking about ground game, we can't have two hands. We have to have four hands. Now, yeah. our feet, they work as if they were also hands. So the hooks I'm able to do with them, they're pretty Yeah, the country choke use a lot of the yeah, hooks, right? Keep that as a, I got so, it. I mean, I think this is, we have a lot of potential that we sometimes don't use as much as we could, as we should in the was in the ground game with our feet. But it's it. nice, I, Bernardo, it. I never thought about that. Thank you. Yeah, no, every single submission that you showed me here playing around, I'm always stuck on your legs somehow. It doesn't matter if it's arm bar, if yeah, it's choke, and the... That, 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 was, that was incredible to, to feel, you know, like, and we were just talking as well, like how in judo, you just have like a very short period of time yeah. to get a submission. So I feel like you have four hands in order to achieve that. And you gotta, you gotta use them fast, right? Maybe okay. You don't have a lot of time or the judge will call Mate. So stop the fight and go back. Now in jiu-jitsu, once you're on the ground, you stand the ground until the end of the fight. Got it. And in judo, no, you're always having to stand up again and begin the fight standing up position. So each opportunity I used to have when I was a fighter uh, in a judo competition, I had to try to make the best effort to submit my opponent. Got because it. maybe I wouldn't have another opportunity. In got it, got it. No, no, that, that, that's incredible. Yeah, so guys, Clive just shot an entire structure all about back attacks and back defense. And it's coming out amazing. So we just did like one of the techniques that he showed here. It's like a different format of the necktie. We are calling the Kanto necktie. <laughs> and uh, uh, make sure to check that out. Maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. So check it out, BGJFanatics and JudoFanatics.com. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you, Flavio. Thank you, Bernardo. Thanks. Honor, my my honor. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed.
BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jiu-jitsu faster. 